Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. I am temporarily in my hometown of Montreal this week and um, so uh, just as a brief precursor here, I will be attending Seagraph. So for any of you who are going to be at Seagraph this year, then feel free to stop by the Toon Boom booth. Um, and kind of just as a warm-up and precursor that, I'm also doing um, a meeting of live-action storyboard artists in the LA region. So if that's something that interests you, I'm particularly focusing on meeting live-action storyboard artists to find out how I can um, add things to the software to improve the software for you. So if that's something that, if you are a live action storyboard artist um, and you'd like to participate in that, then feel free to email me at uh, lily at toonboom.com, L-I-L-L-Y at toonboom.com, and um, we can um, invite you to join us for that discussion. Okay, so um, today I wanted to take a step back and talk about Storyboard Pro a little bit. Um, the things that I'm going to talk about here are things that will apply also when you're working in Harmony. Uh, but we've done a lot of really heavy things like um, rigging and, um, you know, deformations and all kinds of heavy stuff like that. So I thought it would be good just to take a step back and try to do a very simple exercise this week. And so this week it's putting text in perspective. And so there are, there are two ways of doing this, really. And um, I'll show you the first way, which is when you're working on a flat image. And then I'll show you the second way, which is when you're actually going to work in 3D space. So um, let's just do this. I, I like to call this text on a billboard. But we'll just go here into the stage view so that we can draw something. So whenever I like to draw something like it's text on a billboard, I'll just draw the billboard first flat. So here's my rectangle, and then I'll put a couple of lines coming down out of it. And of course you can turn on your snapping so you can snap that line in there, hold down shift to make it a straight line, and uh, get those lined up pretty, pretty well there. Now I can put my text in here, so I'll just um, say text on a billboard. Isn't this great? Okay, so um, now once you have the text in there, um, what you can do is you can select your text, you can resize it and make it, make sure it's you know the right size that you want to have in there, the right font and all that stuff. You need to finish, um, for this exercise, you need to finish figuring out the font uh, before moving on to the next step because what we're going to do is basically we're going to rasterize this text similar to how you would do it in Photoshop or in Flash. So. So once we rasterize the text, you will no longer have the ability to change those things that are text driven. So uh, let me try and find a font here that, that works for me. So let's say that I like this one here and maybe I want it to be bold. Um, then once I'm satisfied with the way that the text looks, then I can move on to the next step, which is actually putting it on um, in perspective. So let me just choose something that's a little bit easier to see. So a good sans serif font here that I can look at, stick it in the middle of my billboard. So, all right, so let's say I'm ready to go. If I just try right away to use my perspective tool on this, the perspective tool is a tool that's nested underneath your contour editor tool. And what the perspective tool allows you to do is you can make a selection of a drawing and you can edit it with these handles basically to modify it. But you notice when I do that, it's not grabbing the text with it. And you can't select a text object with the perspective tool. It's one of those things where you have to convert the text into a drawing object in order for that tool to work on it. The same thing, for example, with my eraser tool. You know, if I try to use my eraser tool on this text, I can't erase the text. But if I take the text and I rasterize it first, then I'll be able to use all of my drawing tools on this text. So in order to rasterize it, it works the same way that it does in Flash, actually, where you can right-click on this text, and then you can go to Convert, Break Apart Text Layers. And the first time that you do it, it breaks it up into individual text objects. So each one of these is a separate text object. So, you know, if I want to, you know, make something wonky happening on this, or maybe I want to have a different font on one of those, then I can, I can do that easily and just kind of make it look uh, a little different there. Now, if I select the text again, because it's still not yet a drawing object, if I select it again, right-click on it, convert, and break apart text layers a second time, now this turns into a drawing object. 
And you can tell because when you look at the strokes on this, you see that there is, might be difficult to see on that, but there is this slight orange line around the outside of each one of the letters. And then the other thing is that now that this is a drawing object, you can use all of your drawing tools, even your eraser tool. So let's say this is a text, this is a billboard that's been there for a long time. It's really beat up. Uh, you know, you might just want to sort of make this look a little bit more like it's been there for a while or whatever. So um, so once you have that done and you have the text looking how you want, you could even on this text, you could even go in here and draw some stuff on it. Like if you wanted to have some text that, um, you know, that has snow gathering on top of it, if it's a snow themed uh, billboard, then you can draw the snow on top and so on. And everything that I've done so far, you can also do in Animate, Animate Pro and Harmony. So let's say this is great now. If I go back to the same perspective tool here that I used before, now if I drag around here and make the selection, since that text is now a drawing object, I now have the ability to actually put this in perspective. So this is the first way of putting text in perspective. So in fact, if I look at this scene in terms of a 3D aspect, there isn't anything 3D that I've done with it. I have simply, it's still a flat image, but I've simply taken that flat image and I've kind of faked the perspective here by squishing down one side of the drawing. You can also kind of skew using this perspective tool a little bit. So if you have, you know, um, your vanishing point somewhere over here, you could kind of just like squeeze it down and then you can skew it up and down and just get it looking the way that you want it to look. So that's the first way. Now um, you can do all of that in Animate, Animate Pro and Harmony. Now I'm going to show you another way. This way, so far, you can also do in Storyboard and Storyboard Pro.